Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here, back with another vintage collection review. This time we're looking at a Knight of Ren. Um, now, this is technically Aplek, I think his name is. Um, still, still, like nearly a year on it, it's the only one we've got in this scale. <laughs> Same with the Black Series. Uh, behind me, we've just got one Knight of Ren so far, so... I hope Hasbro have the rest in the works. This is a really cool figure. I'm really excited to share it. So let's uh, let's take a closer look. All right, and here we have the first Knight of Ren in three and three quarter inch vintage collection style. It is Aplek, also known on the card as Knight of Ren. Um, again, first one, been out for six months. We haven't seen another one. No announcements of another one. I uh, hope Hasbro uh, getting there crap together and eventually get the rest of the crew out because they're quite awesome looking characters despite the fact that they probably got underused um well they definitely got underused a little bit in the uh in the film uh particularly rise of skywalker and they were only involved in that flashback from the force awakens so it's still cool to have this guy um i'm all for secondary characters third tier characters just give me all the characters, basically. Um, but this guy's a badass looking dude. So we'll bring him up close and get a look at his helmet. And he almost looks like a bit of a reaper sort of guy. Now he comes with this big, big axe, the Mandalorian battle axe. And we saw this same axe in Dryden Voss's chamber in Solo. Um, I think there were slight variations of it, but uh, yeah, essentially it's the same. Same thing, plus the Mandalorian armor that Dryden Foss had was this same sort of red and gold color as the handles here, so... I find it very interesting that that could very well be the same axe that we saw there in Solo. Um, just a nice little piece of continuity. Now, I like the way they've done this. They've So he's got the head and then there's a sort of soft... Uh, dress, uh, dress over the top of it, soft plastic. Um, it is fitted on, that's not going to come off. So, it just adds to those layers on the back. Adds to maneuverability of the figure, which is cool. Now, the weathering's pretty decent. Particularly with the sort of muddy look, the dirty look there on the drapes that are sort of coming down on the back of the co co cloak um, or cape it's a browns you know they're dragging this thing through the mud they don't keep overly clean you know, I like the sort of samurai looking gauntlets they look really awesome it's just a just a damn cool looking figure, a damn cool looking character. Um, he has a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbow, ball hinged wrists, uh, joint up the upper torso there, ball jointed hips, the swivels at the thighs, a single joint in the knees, and ball hinge in the ankles. So pretty decent articulation for this guy. I like him a lot. I hope Hasbro give us the rest. Um, although I do feel like we might be getting the Black Series counterparts first. That seems to be Hasbro's uh, main prerogative these days. I'm all behind the TVC, three and three quarter inch. Bring it, bring it all the way. Give us everything in 3.75. Um, it's been a staple for 40 plus years and uh, I'm not ready for it to be over yet, particularly with so many characters left in the parking lot. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Till my next video, may the force be with you.